Welcome to Park Bench Interviews, hosted by Randy Goodman, Harvey Callis Real Estate, your real estate professional. Get to know our community, our businesses, products, and services that will elevate your life. Please welcome your hostess, Randy Goodman. Hey everybody, it's Randy Goodman here from Harvey Callis Real Estate, and I am excited to be here with Jennifer Cunningham, who is a marketing and content strategist. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much. It's nice to be here. Oh, thank you for being here. It's awesome to have you. So I can't wait to learn all about what you do. So tell <laughs> us about it. Yeah, so I am a marketing and content strategist. I own a business called I'm Your CMO. Um, and uh, if you don't know what CMO stands for, that stands for Chief Marketing Officer. So I believe that uh, small business owners are really the CEO of their business. And a lot of times they need that marketing strategy and marketing support um, to help grow their business because it's not their area of expertise. Um, and so I come in and, and partner with them. I love that. <clears throat> Sorry, I love that. <laughs> I have a frog in my throat this morning. Okay. So tell us, like, what does that mean? Can you, like, give us some specifics so that people understand exactly what you do? Because it can yeah. be, like, a very broad area. Absolutely. So if you think about messaging is really what are you actually saying? So what are you talking about? What is your content? What is your message? Um, you know, how do you... Uh, explain to people what you do and then marketing is really the way that that message gets out so that would be the channels that you're communicating whether it's you know social media if it's uh, virtual stages if it's networking all of those pieces is the marketing so the messaging and the marketing have to work together uh, and that's what I do I help you really clarify what your message is so that you can start to get that message out so do you actually do the copywriting and the graphics as well uh, as well as uh, ads and stuff or? No, so I, I take kind of that high level um, position. So it's, it is the, a lot of the copy. Um, first thing that I do is um, really try to figure out what the value proposition is for a company. I use a tool called StoryBrand. Um, so I'm a certified guide and StoryBrand is a communication framework that uses kind of the, the typical narrative of story to actually fit your marketing in. And it just becomes this really, really cool tool where um, you, you position your customer as the hero of the story and you become the wise guide. And it's this kind of neat paradigm shift that has to happen. But what I do is I actually help build out that story and the content. Um, and I help create a sales funnel for you. Um, but I don't do the graphics. I don't build the website, but I have partners who I do. I work with. Uh, okay. on those ones. Yeah. Perfect. So it could be a one-stop shop kind of thing. Absolutely. <clears throat> okay. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So is this something that you always did or tell us a little bit about your journey? Yeah. So I, I've always worked in marketing. Um, I, I took communications uh, as a in university. And so I've always been interested in story and communication and um, this idea of, um, kind of the curiosity of uncovering somebody's message. I really always resonated with that. I did work in corporate um, for 25 years. I worked for Microsoft, com a company. I worked for the Special Olympics, all sorts of different companies, startups during the dot-com era. Right. And, um, but I just always had this inkling, like this is just desire to have my own business. Right. So I created this little project in my mind, which I called Project Freedom. And um, I started to figure out how do I start my own business? And so on the side, um, my first iteration of my business, I started to um, I actually became a Pilates instructor. Oh, wow. <laughs> it's a kind of a funny story, but I became a Pilates instructor because it was just this way of breaking my bonds of what a typical nine to five job had to look like. Okay. And so I, I started to do that. And I was actually planning on um, traveling around the world and being uh, a Pilates instructor and going into studios and helping, you know, cover off a month with an instructor, all of this kind of stuff. Right. So it was actually starting to work out really well. I was still doing marketing on the side because that was what I knew. Mm -hmm. um, but then I ended up actually getting cancer. Um, so it kind of put the right brakes right on that plan. Okay. Um, and uh, so three years ago, I finished my treatment and about you know, when I was coming out of uh, my treatment, I was just like, okay, so 
maybe I can't go traveling around the world right now. So what do I, what do I know? I know how to do clean? marketing. Are you still I'm clean? all clean. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Three years, three years so far. So we're, we're in, good. we're in a good position, but good. I just started to realize like, well, you know, what do I know? How do I, how can I really help people? Um, and it, and it was coming back to marketing. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I restarted my business, uh, two and a half years ago. Wow. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Congrats you. on a few things. Yeah. <laughs> Being queen. <laughs> yeah. Starting your business. Um, okay. That's, that's awesome. I love to hear people's journeys and yeah. <laughs> how they got to what they're doing. But it also shows that, um, not to say that people who started new businesses are not professionals, but it's nice to see that this is something that was always a foundation. Yeah. in your life and uh, that you would be really good at what you do because it is something that you studied right from the get-go yeah. so yeah it's nice to see and uh but I still love to hear the journeys and the tangents and yeah <laughs> well and I think it's also kind of a good message that um you know, you can make changes out of crisis. So I went through that personal crisis and I had to reevaluate and figure out what do I want to do. Mm -hmm. um, and then I just started, started doing it. And obviously we're in a crisis right now and people are doing that same evaluation with their own lives. Right. right. Yeah. 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 It's true. It's so mm -hmm. true. And uh, sometimes it takes something like this in order to make a change that, yeah. you know, we should have made before, but uh it unfortunately takes something dramatic to yes. happen in order for us to take action. So, you know, there's, there's the good and the bad and exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know, a good flip there. So <clears throat> you um, have given back to society. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, one of the things that I've done is um, a couple of um, friends and I, we, this was a few years ago now, but we created an organization called Skipping Stones. Um, and it was really, it was not an organization, it was a group and it was a fundraising initiative um, where we decided to hold a number of events and uh, send the money to a specific organization called um, no, I'm not remembering the name, but it was playground equipment um, that when it's put, it, so we installed it in a village in Africa, but the playground equipment is actually attached to a water well. And so by the children playing on mm -hmm. the equipment, it actually helps bring the water up. So it saves the women from like, you know, going to uh, walk to, to figure to get the water and all this kind of stuff. So that was a really cool initiative because I had to use wow. marketing skills and, um, you know, networking and community building. Uh, so that was really fun. Wow. That's awesome too. And you were helping people who uh, had difficulty getting to water. Mm -hmm. So, which is. But also giving out. the children something to do in the, in the village. So it was kind of a neat right. initiative. Right. Yeah. Yeah. No, listen, it's, it's vital to our lives. Right. So yeah. yeah thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. um, so tell us like, who would be the right person or the right organization or corporation that would be looking for your services? What do they look like so that our audience can understand maybe it's them? Yeah, yeah. So I work with small businesses, um, everything from solopreneurs to, um, you know, people who have maybe under 10 employees. Um, and I, I'm looking for people who have had a little bit of have experimented a little bit with their business. So they have had, they have some data to work with, right? So they, they have a little bit more understanding of who their ideal client is. They've sold a few things. Mm -hmm. um, they have a little bit of a track record because mm -hmm. then we can look at that and say, okay, let's dive deep. What's working, what's not working. What's this current situation doing to your current mark? You know, your marketing, right. do you need to, do you need to reevaluate your strategy, your business model? Um, is there a shift in communication that has to happen? So really I'm looking for um, anybody that's, that's looking to grow their business, get more leads, close more sales with a really tight message. Okay. I love that. I love that. Okay. And can you tell us like a story of a client where we've seen results? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I have um, uh, one client and she, she runs just kind of three areas of her business. Um, and she, 
uh, she was a former Pilates instructor, but she's actually, um, she was a master instructor trainer for Stop Pilates. She also is um, a biomechanics uh, expert. So she works with a lot of athletes. And so it, she had kind of three lines of business. One was uh, an actual studio uh -huh. where she worked one-on-one -on -one with clients. Right. She had um, a stream where she worked with professional athletes. So a lot of hockey players, um, and Olympians. Mm -hmm. And then she had an education component. So mm -hmm. it was really about like, how do we align all three of those businesses under one messaging umbrella? Right. And, um, and, and also one messaging umbrella, but also specifically target those different segments, right? Um, so we worked together to do that. Okay. And uh, redid her website and redid her marketing. And what's really fascinating is that she has been able to hold on to that mess that business. Um, by shifting into virtual training uh, during this time because she already had the messaging straight, right? She already knew who right. she was talking to, how to talk to them, um, but now she was just pivoting to online training. Oh, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think a lot of businesses are having trouble, whether they're little or large, doesn't matter, they're having trouble. Uh, yeah. trying to make that shift or being able to service people in, on different platforms. So, yeah, it's great that um, having a very clear message and a marketing plan can uh, really make that transition really easy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I think that businesses have to think, you know, for the situation that we're in right now, you have to think of your messaging and your marketing in two buckets, right now and right after. Because right now we are in the middle of the crisis, right? Things are still shut down. So there has to be something about how can you get some quick wins? What are some, um, maybe some new products or new offerings that you can do really quickly? Mm -hmm. They might be low cost products or low cost offerings. But what can you do right now just to get some business in the door, keep the doors open, keep the lights on. And mm -hmm. then you have to start thinking about what's going to happen afterwards when the, when the, economy starts opening up again, the reality is we're going to be in a recession, right? We're going right. to be, um, there's going to be some time to come back, right? So then you have to switch into that right after, you know, and it might not be your long-term vision, but you still have to think a little bit further ahead than, than just the immediate. Right, right. Awesome. Thank you. And do you have any uh, tips or suggestions for people out there that can have to do with anything? Yeah, I think just kind of going a little bit further into that, you know, you know, what could you do right now? Um, whether, you know, if you are a coach, um, perhaps you could offer some sort of online program. Um, you could create a, a small value, like a, you know, a, a lower value item that people can access right now, even in terms of becoming more visible, you know, like how could you offer value to your clients right now? in terms of this, where they are, where they are. Right. Um, and then really like in terms of your communication and messaging, how can you tweak your message? So the message you had on your website might not be applicable right now. It might actually appear insensitive. So is there, you mm -hmm. know, just some really simple tweaks you can make to your message that says, Hey, I know what you're going through and I got you, you know? So I think there's just some tweaks like that you can make. I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. and, and you're the person to work with for that. <laughs> <laughs> so how can people get a hold of you? Yeah, so uh, my website is imyourcmo.com. So it's I-M-Y-O-U-R-C-M-O.com. Um, and uh, yeah, there's opportunity there to download a free uh, document which talks about standing out, ways to stand out. Um, and so, you know, I'd love to to help anybody, I can do uh, a quick little audit of your marketing materials and just say, hey, here's some ideas for you, just for your right now messaging. Mm -hmm. um, so I would love to help people with that. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much. And we will have all your contact info for everybody on the page. So you guys don't worry about whether you had a pen or not to write it all down, <laughs> but uh, you'll be able to get a hold of Jennifer. And yeah, thank you so much for being on with me. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to this interview hosted by Randy Goodman. We hope you will take action and connect with the incredible business people and leaders in our community. And remember, Randy is always here to answer any questions you have regarding your real estate needs. 
Be sure to register on the website and stay up to date on what's happening in your area at parkbench.com slash millpond.